Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching some more Legend of Vox Machina for y'all. And in the previous episode, we actually saw the group get split up. Part of the group was with Grog kind of dealing with him, losing his strength. And then the other part of the group was in the Fey Realm getting all trippy with each other. And I believe they're actually pretty close to a new vestige. So perhaps we'll see that vestige in action today. We're ready to get into it. Thanks for joining us, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. How can a city just teleport to the Fey Realm? In times of danger, the elven nobility have arcane means of moving it. Oh, oh. so I guess because the dragon showed up, they just put it over there? Oh, wow. No, straight through is the fastest way to the Shade Park. Come, come. Uh, perhaps the next mile is hours to go. Will they be recognized? I think they might be. They were little when they left, though. No, your weapons. We seek an audience with Ambassador Vassar. <sighs> Where is children? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's easy to act noble. Just be a bit of a shit and wear what everyone else is wearing. Mm -hmm. I've known many people with money and titles. And they're definitely not worth you. Aww. We weren't expecting you. Um, your father will be down shortly. And somewhere around here is, uh... What? Our daughter. Uh, sister. Hi. I love your feather. Aww. Your father will be pleased to see you. <clears throat> Perhaps I would have been had you notified me you'd be gracing us with your presence. Well, we didn't know you'd be here in the Fey Realm. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Pop pop? Oh. What? Her dad? You might be some of those burgling brutes. Oh my god, I love him. This is my great great grandfather, Will Hantrick. Oh. Whoa. Grog, did you forget to eat? Hi, pop pop. He knows him. <laughs> I fucked up. And so, when Imon fell, we had no recourse but to retreat to the Fey Realm. Oh. Passing arms and training our soldiers to confront the dragons. Mmm, okay. And you are Percival Frederick Stein von Musilkolowski de Rollo III of the yes. Royal House of Whitestone. Mm. <laughs> We've come for an ancient weapon said to lie in the Shade Merc, the Finthris bow, a powerful relic. Legends say it fires arrows strong enough to wound a titan. Oh, fabulous. We need that. You should be proud. Your son and daughter are leading the fight against the Chroma Conclave. Oh, you needn't spin false tales of their exploit. Uh, what? Have you any idea the burden your sudden arrival has caused my family? We didn't. Okay, their family too. If you can offer us any assistance, we would be most grateful. Of course. It's the least I can do for family. Okay, now he says it. <laughs> what a dick. I know. I got swallowed it. <sighs> no, 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 no. This one ain't going down the front side flapper. It's, what? It's a suppository? He's too weak to, um, you know, give it to himself. Oh, God. Uh, allow me. I know how to work both ends. Oh, so. <laughs> Light, protect Grog <laughs> and the rest of our friends, wherever they are. Oh my god. Bro, Scanlan's a real one. <laughs> and no matter where we go, we'll be thinking of you, little one. <laughs> Only let her keep the feather. Lady Vexalia, Baroness of the Third House of Whitestone and Grand Mistress of the Grey Hunt. <gasps> so, good sir, despite your relationship, do watch your manners towards a noble. Oh. Don't you dare talk to him like that. We came here seeking aid and you insult my friends? Yeah. After everything you've done, or rather haven't done, we won't fail. Which is more than I can say about you as a father. Ooh. Oh, fuck you. We're leaving. Damn. Damn. You mean? <laughs> she's <laughs> so adorable. <laughs> like we're just gonna back out of here. <laughs> Damn, but she saw all that. She did, yeah. 
I should apologize for springing that title on you. I hope it didn't upset you, Vex. No, she loved it. No one other than my brother has ever stood up for me like that. Aww. Thank you. And then she stood up for him right after. I know. Here, I made something for you. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, for her arrow? I see something ahead. God, this place is so weird. Do you hear that? Don't listen to him. Clear your heads. Lock it out. Oh, damn. Even he's scared of yeah. me? Yeah. But as long as you don't submit to his voice, his sadness won't turn you. Ah, how reassuring. Uh-oh. Does she listen? Oh, no. I think she did. Your strength to come back. Well, your body's going to need a kickstart. Some significant stimulation. I got to stimulate myself? Okay. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> your muscles will awaken poof, when they're properly aroused. Aroused? I'm getting real mixed messages. Pendrus <laughs> <laughs> must be in that tree. Whoa. Uh, she doesn't look all right. Uh, Vex, wait up. Vex. Oh. How is she passing through this muck? Yeah, Whoa. she's walking on top of it. It's because she's falling for it. I await dear, dear one. What is this? My cue to leave. You what? Really again. Damn. Damn, he's out. Oh, is that where the bow is? I understand you. What? Who is that? Stand clear. Oh! He blew a hole inside? Nice. Yes! How do you know so much about me? The moment you touched my sickness. The black stuff. Oh, she touched it with her hand. He made this for me? me? It, it is, is as beautiful, beautiful as you. My Vexalia. So he's giving her what he thinks she wants. You being a good daughter. You've tried. Damn. No. I could grant that wish. But it is not what you need. Oh, he's just gonna the give it to her? What would you ask in return? Only what you long to give. We would be perfect together, dear broken Vexali. What? My heart. My heart is someone else's. <gasps> okay. Percy? Percy? Bitch! You're what? like the rest. Let's go. Sister. Oh, great. Oh, God. Um, oh, maybe fire? fire? Yeah, I was just thinking that. Bleed. How do you fight a tree? Yep. Let's she understood. Oh, Keyleth. Damn it. Oh, wow. <laughs> having a bow fight. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. She's <laughs> so cool. Oh, oh, what? Oh, crap. Oh, damn. She can do that whenever now. Like, she just needs a second. Yeah, I guess she's got to power up a little. Damn. Hell yeah! Oh, she came out of the other one. And that is how you fight a tree. 
Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh shit. That's all her arrows. Oh my god. Damn, it does lots of different shit. No. Oh. I realize. Oh. Your words are as empty as your corrupted heart. Yes! I forgot about that thing. Nice. And it opened up. Nice. Oh, and the thing Percy gave her. Dude. Now she's got that and the broom. <laughs> what a show. He loves them. I usually hate the theater, but that had it all. Drama, action, family shame. <laughs> <laughs> he gets it. You have given me more entertainment in the last two dusks than I've had for millennia. Oh, so cool. You deserve something in return. Wow. Excellent question, Fancy Pants, but I'm afraid it'll have to wait until the next time. Till next time? Portal's closing. Oh, wow. Is he a god or something? Oh, what? Travel safe, friends. What the fuck? Myth Carver showed me those gauntlets, remember? In the city? Shit. If they're in Western, I know who has them. Oh, he does know them. Those gauntlets belong to my uncle. Oh, his uncle, okay. He killed me with them. What? what? <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa. Wow. I wonder if that's how him and Pike met? It must have been before him and Pike, because oh. she didn't even know about that. There's no way he could fight them, though. That dude has a vestige and he is weak right now. Yeah, I think he's kind of scared to go. And it wasn't just his uncle by himself. It was with a bunch of others, so. It was with a whole crew, I, yeah. I don't see how Pike and Scanlan, just them two, could beat them all either. Yeah, and I'm kind of surprised that Nothing we did here actually helped him at all. Well, it said they got rid of the corruption or whatever inside him. Okay. So at least that's gone. But now he's just like at square one when it comes to his strength, you know? Damn. Well, you know, actually, now that I think about it, uh, the rest of the group just got like portaled. Back to where they are. Back to Taldore, right? Mm -hmm. So I think actually they'll be able to show up and help out Scanlan and Grog and Pike because there's no way they're gonna be able to do it just them three. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously going up against like Grog's family. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that was pretty clutch that they just got portaled right there. And now Vex is super powerful with the vestige she has. We saw that bow, it's able to do so much different things. Yeah, it was like uh, like different elements and stuff. Kind of Electricity. At the, yeah, at the wielder's whim too. Just like whatever he wanted to do would pop off. So I'm excited to see her use that from now on for sure. Now, one thing I am curious about is that Grog said at the end of the episode that his uncle killed him with the gauntlets. So begs the question, first of all, how did Grog get brought back to life? Because we see that you know, um, the resurrection spells don't always work. So I'm definitely curious as to how that happened. And second of all, why does his uncle have the gauntlets? Like why and how long has he had them too? Um, obviously we don't know much about them yet, but I am curious to know a little bit more about that. Hopefully we find out in the next episode because I just think it's crazy. I did not know Grog got killed before he met Pike. Yeah, I don't know how long Grog and Pike have been together and I don't know how long ago his uncle, I guess, killed him. Um, but that would mean that his uncle has had these gauntlets for kind of a long time, I'm assuming. Yeah. Because it seems like Pike and Grog have been together for a long time already. Longer than Vox Machina has been around. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then I'm wondering if perhaps him running into Pike is the reason he was brought back to life, maybe? I thought that too for a second, you know what I mean? Just because it is Pike, but she kind of made it seem like she had never done a resurrection spell before. She did, right, with Cash? Yeah. So I, I don't know, maybe I was thinking um, her great, great, great grandfather 
Oh, because he Maybe, does Maybe because he already knew Grog in he this knows, episode. He knows Grog as well. Hmm. Yeah, and it seemed like she really trusted him um, when, it, when it came to magic and stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. so perhaps it was one of Pike's family members or her great, great, great grandpa or something. True, because we know they do have like a connection. They're like, you know, healers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And this dude's still around. That's yeah. That's pretty crazy. So I don't know. I'm definitely looking forward to that. I feel like we haven't gotten much on Grog yet. And I feel like it's it should be coming in these next few episodes. All right, guys, this is definitely another crazy episode. We can't wait to get into the next one. So if you want to catch that and all the other shows we're watching, you know what to do. Hit the like button and subscribe because it definitely helps out our channel. Follow our Instagram for some extra content from us. And real quick, we did want to make a shout out to our newest Patreon supporters, Fire and Ice, Tenomusha, Jeremy, and Dax. You guys are the greatest along with all of our other supporters. Now, before we go, we did want to let everyone know that our bonus movie reaction is up on the Patreon. It was Predator. We definitely had a blast watching the movie. It was so much fun and it will be exclusively on our Patreon. So if you'd like to support the channel, get an extra movie reaction and vote on our next one, we'll leave a link for our Patreon down below. But as always, you guys are the greatest and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out guys. Bye.